Rather than lads, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kosi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to brand new video. Now, Mikel Arteta has brought in over 20 players ever since he was appointed as Arsenal manager. Coming in to, re uh, coming in to replace uh, Yuna Emery, who was sacked then after a very bad round of games. But can you believe that Mikel Arteta has actually had 20 signings? 20 signs you cannot believe that i really cannot believe that uh, so in this video we're going to be trying to rank every Mikel Arteta signing we're going to look at them uh, and try to predict how some of them will end up at arsenal will they be a legend will they be a great signing will they be a mediocre signing or will they be one we should say get him out definitely really get him out so i'm gonna be ranking every player but deep down in the uh, down in the comment section i want you to talk to me let me know which is your best arsenal signing under Mikel Arteta. you have one slot like this you cannot tell me many i just want one name which is your best arsenal signing under Mikel Arteta? mine is definitely i'm gonna tell you this one at the end of the video so tell me which is your worst player ever signed for Arsenal under Mikel Arteta and which is your best player ever signed under Mikel Arteta let me know hit the like button let's get this video to 500 likes subscribe to the podcast as well we're very close to 55,000 let's get into it let's start off with the Fabio Vieira now Fabio Vieira has just signed this summer and I think he's a very quality player very very quality Mikel Arteta loves him and he understands that he's one of the very very versatile players that he has in his squad so in my opinion Fabio Vieira will go on to become a great signing. I do not see him become an Arsenal legend uh, because definitely that status should be uh, taken up by very, very um, you know, distinctive players. So Fabio Vieira, I think, will become a, I think will become a great signing. I think he will win things with, uh, with Arsenal. He'll become a very great number 10 or number 8 decide, you know, depending uh, on where Mikel Arteta will decide to play him. I don't see him become an, an Arsenal legend. I don't see him reach that status. But definitely a great signing. Fabio Vieira, uh, 40 million euros. I think Arsenal did good business. That money will actually come out eventually. And I'm going to say great signing. That one will become uh, a great signing. Now, Matt Turner, where do you see this one? Um... I'm going to put him in this um, mediocre category. A couple of Arsenal fans have already put him in the uh, get him out category. I think it is too early to throw him out. Um, in the long run, I think it's going to be a real backup to Aaron Ramsdale. And we're going to see kind of... Um, a situation where you know with what we are seeing with uh with the uh, Ederson at Manchester City and Allison at Liverpool, where the first just goalkeeper plays in Europe all the games, also plays in the in, in the Premier League all the games, and the backup goalkeeper can only play in the non-crucial games that is um in the Carabao Cup. Uh, you know initial stages fa cup in you know initial stages and probably some pre uh, preliminary games uh in the europa league but i think aaron ramsdale is going to be playing more minutes than you ever imagined so i think uh this one is going to be just a concrete backup and that's why i think it's just going to be he will end up as a as a mediocre signing i don't think it will be a very bad one and i don't think people will focus on him to that extent to say he was a great signing Oh, he is an Arsenal legend. I think I'm right about this one. I think I'm definitely right about that one. Um, uh, Matt Sana. Now, we have Maquinos next. And I'm really not sure where to place Maquinos. Will he go ahead to become a great signing? Will he be an Arsenal legend? I don't think he will be there. But I'll place him in this category of great signing. Because honestly, Maquinos is still very, very young. And you cannot judge him this early so i will put him in that category uh, of great uh, great signing he's got the ability to do whatever the suckers of this world the gabriel martinelli's of this world will do for arsenal football club but do not get me wrong if it doesn't work out to be a good signing do not say i said he's gonna be a great signing but for now we really cannot demotivate the young lad let's put him in that in that category uh great signing and definitely let's pray he actually does well but i think he will do well uh, I definitely think he will do well. Now, Gabriel Jesus. I'll put him up there. Gabriel Jesus, 
Arsenal legend. I think this is a very well scouted move by Mikel Arteta. He understands the man. Uh, he understands the player, uh, and he understands the system that he's uh, that is trying to recruit Gabriel Jesus for. And that is why I feel, however much many signings can go wrong, however much many players, uh, you know, player signings will actually go wrong. This one. The chances of going wrong are absolutely very, very minimal. I won't be very surprised if Gabriel Jesus scores 15 plus goals or 20 plus goals for Arsenal every campaign. He's a striker that was chosen out of a pool of strikers. Darwin Nunes was there. Buzan Blahovic was a priority. The, all the other strikers were there. But they said, we will go for this one. So that one, um, I think he will become an Arsenal legend. I think he, he's got the potential and ability to become an Arsenal legend. Uh, he's going to win uh, things for Arsenal. I think he will influence games for Arsenal. And to some point... Um, before Arsenal add another striker, I think you know he's he has the ability to lift the performance of the team. He's going to be that kind of a uh, ring, uh, that kind of a uh, you know it's called a medotron in music. That kind of a uh, that, that kind of you know point that just produces continuous beats, and I think that could be. Gabriel Jesus. He could be Arsenal an Arsenal legend. Um, if Arsenal go on to win very many things, he is an Arsenal legend. Gabriel Jesus, legendary status. I think he will get there. Now, Alexander Zichenko, I think he's got the ability to become a national legend, but we cannot have so many legends, can we? So that means we've got to place him here in that category. Uh, great signing. But I think, I think uh, you know, Alexander Zichenko, just like, um, just like uh, Gabriel Jesus, he will influence games for us, no? He will influence situations for Arsenal and he adds a lot of quality to the side. He's one player that has been really scouted as well. And I think part of their scout, part of the scouting process uh, for these two has been Mikel Arteta working with them uh, at Manchester City, working with them, uh, you know, as, as, as a coach at City and then eventually trying to sign them years later. So, in my opinion... Alexander Zichenko has the ability uh, to to probably, I mean, you cannot be both legend and great, but you can be great, you can be great and legend, can you? I mean, you can be, if you're legend, you're definitely great, but if you're great, it doesn't mean you're legend. Let's agree on that. So, Alexander Zichenko, I think it can be a great signing, and it depends on the kind of role he will play in our uh, Arsenal winning uh, as many things as we can. That is when we can call him a legend. But I think he can go uh, to be a good signing. Great, great signing. Alexander Runa Rudison, get him out now. Get him out now. Seriously, lads. This one must have been the worst piece of business Arsenal have ever had in our entire history. Yes, we've had the likes of Sebastian Sculacci. We've had Sylvester as well. So, Mikel Sylvester could have been Arsenal's worst signing. Pro definitely not Danny Welbeck. Don't tell me Danny Welbeck. I think it is Sylvester. Should have been Arsenal's worst signing uh, you know, in, in, in my life. <sighs> Runason is next. Definitely. Uh, Runason is next. I think he's a bad signing. Bad, bad signing. Get him out. Get him out. Thomas Partey, where do you see this one, lads? Where do you see this one? Uh, currently, is already in that category of great signing. But uh, I think the fact that he's going to be playing in that pivot, uh, the, most important the most important area um, in Mikel Ateta's uh, system, uh, the best of the midfield, influencing whatever happens in terms of Arsenal pressing and in terms of Arsenal being pressed, I think... If you can get him if get him fit, because if you can get him 35 games a campaign, his quality is undisputed. His quality is incomparable. I think he becomes Arsenal legend for me, Thomas Partey. He becomes a legend. And the, the reason why he becomes a legend is he's going to be playing a very crucial part in an Arsenal side that will potentially win some of the things that Arsenal fans have not seen in years. The Premier League... Or the Europa League or the UEFA Champions League. Actually, for me, if Arsenal win the Europa League with Thomas Partey at the best of that midfield, I crown him legend. 
Honestly. Yes, that is mediocre thinking, but I crown him legend. Not anybody else, only Thomas Partey for now. I think he becomes legend. I think you get him fit, he becomes legend. Danny Ceballos, mediocre. Yeah, he was a mediocre signing. I don't think he was that bad to an extent that get him out, get him out. Probably not. But he was a mediocre signing. Let's agree. Let's agree on that. He was a mediocre signing. Uh, when Mikel actually first saw him, I think he got the impression, let me bring him back on loan and try to, uh, you know, and try to see how good the guy is. But he was a mediocre signing. Absolute mediocre. That is average. Those performances he put in for us, no, they were absolutely average. Martin Odegaard, future captain. Where do you see this one, guys? Where do you see this one? Mediocre? Martin Odegaard, could he come? Could he become a mediocre signing for us? And I don't see that. I'll, I'll lift him up there into the legendary category because uh, if Gabriel Jesus is going to be a legend, if Thomas Partey is going to be a legend, then Odegaard, certainly the captain, will be a legend. If Mikel Atta crowns him captain and we go on to win very many things, he's going to be the first Arsenal legend in years. Actually, apart from Fab, uh, Patrick Vieira and... Um, uh, apart from Patrick Vieira, Thierry Henry, um, the likes of Dennis Parkham, recently I struggled to find any Arsenal legends. People have been talking about Teodro James Walcott. Teodro James Walcott was a good player, was a great player for Arsenal. He was no legend. He was, even Thomas Rosiski was no Arsenal legend. They're, those are non Arsenal legends, those are great signings. So I think with Martin Odegaard, you get, you know, you get him. Uh, that captaincy and then he leads us to winning things that we've not won in a very long time he becomes a legend he definitely uh, becomes a legend alongside the likes of Bukayo Saka who I think um, uh, as per the English media should be Arsenal legends already now Ben White great signing yeah this one would be a great sign I think Mikel uh, has had his you know his eyes on him and he has understood uh, the importance of signing homegrown players, but also the importance of having English centre-backs. I won't be very surprised if Ben White becomes our John Terry or Real Ferdinand. He's committed, he's talented, he's gifted, he is able, he is good. I mean, I, I just wonder people trolling him here and there, troops, Carty Show, uh, everyone trolling Ben White. What's the point? What's the point, guys? This guy is going to be... A great signing. He could be an Arsenal legend. But I think um, I'll place him in that great signing category. Uh, I think Mikel Arteta thought about it very well. Just as Tomiyasu. Tomiyasu will be uh, a, will turn out to be a great signing for Arsenal as well. Uh, I think it's, a, it's another signing that Arsenal have thought through. And they've gone, yes, good signing. Uh, very, very remarkable. Now, Aaron Ramsdale. Apart from James Lehman um, and David Seaman... No Arsenal goalkeepers are really talked about very much. The likes of Almunia, Fabianski, Peter Cech, uh, and Wojciech Szczesny in the recent years have actually not been up to the task to reach that level of an Arsenal legend. I think some of the uh, legendary goalkeepers in the Premier League in the last 20 years, David De Gea and Hugo Lorry, I think this guy, Ramsdale, the passion, the talent, the way he fits into the squad, the leadership, the aggressiveness... And also, on top of you know, um, uh, on top of all that, the enthusiasm that he has will make him an Arsenal legend. I think he's gonna become a great goalkeeper for Arsenal. He will become just like Allison and Ederson and even Mo. Gabriel Magales, where do we place him? Uh, where do we place this one? Uh, I want to place him here, but uh, will he become that formidable centre back? Uh, can he live at some point in time, eventually? Great signing. Yeah. I think Gabriel is a great signing. Yeah. I think Gabriel uh, is a great signing. He will be a great signing for us, no? Uh, I mean, it might not go to those levels um, of, uh, of, 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 of a legendary signing. I won't be very surprised if Arsenal decided um, to bring in a, a more mature and very formidable centre-back. But that really doesn't mean Gabriel will not be a good one for Arsenal. I think it would be a great signing for Arsenal um, eventually. Nuno Tavares. 
I'm sorry, I'll place him there. Eventually, I think he will leave Arsenal Football Club. Uh, he could leave Arsenal as uh, as soon as this summer. But for now, I'll place him in the mediocre category. Um, Albert Sambila Conga, no. Great signing. I think he will get the game time at Arsenal Football Club. And he will become a great signing for Arsenal. Uh, Cedric Soares, get him out. Yeah, get him out. I don't think I don't think it's that bad, but um I just don't feel he's that he's the quality. I just don't think he's the quality. In the first place, if Mikelata was given a chance to sign him uh before they brought him uh, before they brought them on uh they brought uh before they brought him in uh on loan, I think he decides again a start. Pablo Murray as well, get him out. Uh I, I don't think I I I really don't think uh, he's up to the task as well. Um, get him out. Definitely uh, get him out. We have two Pablo Maris, uh, but they are both in the get him out set, uh, category. And uh, finally, William. Get him out. Um, we all thought William was going to work out. We all thought William was going to be a great signing for us. No, but it turned out to be the opposite. So there is nothing uh, to do. In the comment section, let me know one great signing for you, one legendary signing for you, and one very, very poor signing for by Mikel Ateta for you.